Hey Chopper Shoppers, we're back in our kitchen making homemade pierogies. Pierogi are boiled dumplings, and while their origin is heavily debated, it's a popular dish in Central and Eastern Europe. They're a super versatile dish because they can be filled with sweet or savory fillings. And today we're going savory with a classic potato and cheese filling. And we're using sweet potato as our star ingredient. We'll start by cubing our sweet potatoes and placing them directly on our baking sheet and give them a generous drizzle with olive oil. We'll season them with salt, pepper, and garlic powder and roast them in a preheated oven for 20 to 25 minutes. While our potatoes roast, I'll get started on our dough. In a large bowl, we'll whisk together flour and salt. In a smaller bowl, we'll whisk together melted butter, Greek yogurt, one full egg plus an additional egg yolk, and vegetable oil. We'll add our wet ingredients to the dry ingredients and stir until a dough forms. Then we'll let it rest for 10 to 20 minutes. All right, and our sweet potatoes are done. You know the sweet potatoes are ready when they're tender all the way through, and you can check that by poking them with a fork. If it goes in nice and easily, then they are good to go. And remember too, the smaller you cut your pieces, the faster they'll cook. Then we'll add them to a food processor right away while they're still hot, and puree until they're nice and smooth. Then we'll transfer our potatoes into a bowl and add our fontina cheese and stir until combined. Fontina is a semi-hard cheese that has a slightly buttery and nutty flavor that pairs really well with sweet potatoes. It's incredibly rich and creamy, which makes these pierogies so decadent. We'll set our filling aside and start to roll out our dough. We'll start by using just half the dough at a time so it's easier to work with. And we'll roll it out until it's very thin, about one eighth of an inch. You want it to be very thin, but not tear. Then use a round cutter. Um, if you don't have one, then you can use the top of a drinking glass. That would work just fine. And we'll cut them out and place them onto a sheet of parchment. And then we'll repeat the whole thing. So rolling it out and cutting with the remainder of our dough. Take about one to two teaspoons of filling and place it in the center of each dough round. Brush the edges of each piece of dough with water, then fold it over and press it closed, creating the classic pierogi shape. You can gently press the edges together with your fingers or use a fork. To cook them, bring a pot of salted water to a boil. Cook five to six pierogies at a time, boiling them for three to five minutes just until they float. Once they float, remove them with a slotted spoon. Take the boiled pierogi and cook them in a buttered skillet over medium heat for about one to two minutes each side until they're golden brown. Serve immediately with plain Greek yogurt and chives, plus a drizzle of the butter in the skillet. They're delicious and we can't wait for you to make them at home. Thanks for watching and see you next time.